You're watching Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by Southeast Health. Welcome back to round two in our first week of Heartland Football Friday. It is great to be back and we're leading things off with plenty of action in the Dexter Bearcats Jamboree. Uh, it includes Popper Bluff, Fredericktown and Carothersville. Of course, the Bearcats, the host team and Fredericktown, Easton Wood. This guy was making some highlights early and often. Easton Wood again. He's going to get a hold of that football and do something with it. Like the way that guy plays, got his head up, watching the field, making it happen for him. Hey, how about uh, taking a look at Carothersville? This is a team that can do it as well. Jared Hudgens kind of scoots out and in the end zone. And then they also play some defense. Germonte Alexander, the pick right there. Not bad, not bad at all. Meanwhile, Dexter, the host team, with some weapons of their own as well. Nolan Alford, one of them, runs out there and picks up some good yardage. Number 12 with that ball to the outside. They do that because if you fumble, it goes out of bounds. That's how you get it done. Jet Grams runs it in for the touchdown with a name like Jet. Got to be good, right? Then Popper Bluff. Hey, they did great things last year, looking to do great things this year. Kristen Robertson. Watch this one, number 32, moving that football around, smart football player. Logan Height also makes the highlights. And hey, the coaches, well, they talked about being excited about their teams. It's just a great chance for us to really come out and, like you said, compete against other teams. We've, we've been beating on each other a little bit, so now it's time to see something different. And it's just another checkpoint in our, in our progression. And uh, our guys are ready to see, and our coaching staff is ready to see where we're at tonight. It was good. I mean, we've been, we've been competing against each other all summer. And all first part of the fall. So it was nice to have somebody in a different color jersey and see kind of where we match up in certain areas that we had question marks on and, and really solidify some of the stuff going into the regular season. Like we've had a really good off season. Our kids have worked hard, our numbers are up. We got a really good group of leaders in this team. All right, regular season again, Friday, August 25th, a week from tonight. Southern Illinois teams will also kick off the regular season that night. Tonight we take a look at one team looking to rebound, another team looking to move forward after losing a legendary head coach. We begin with the Anna Jonesboro Wildcats. They still have their legendary coach, Brett Dietering. His team's been struggling with numbers in recent years, just not as many players coming out. AJ is hoping to improve from last year's two and seven record, and they have some reason for optimism, 10 seniors re returning. And hey, eight of those guys started last year. How about the goals for 2023? You know, anytime, you know, I think you want to compete for a conference championship. Uh, if you're competing for a conference championship, you feel like you got a, you got an opportunity to make the playoffs. So those are our goals every, every year. Uh, and doesn't change based on what we've got, you know, returning or what our year was before. Those are some things that you always want your kids to be striving for. Have a winning season and make the playoffs is a great goal to have. I mean, it's been five years since we had a playoff team. So get back in the playoffs, that would definitely be a main goal of ours. Hey! AJ will kick off the season next Friday at Harrisburg at 7. Some new leadership for the Marion football program. Wildcats defensive coordinator Jason Dunning takes over for Hall of Fame head coach Kerry Martin, who retired at the end of last season. Dunning actually played under Martin before coaching under him for about 20 years, and he likes the situation he's walking into. It's a great group of kids, you know, and I think in taking over this job, most head coaches are walking in to a new, new environment, new kids, new coaching staff. They don't know, okay, and that's not the situation here because I've been a part. So the kids already knew the expectations. It, it was maybe the easiest transition from a coordinator to a head coach that any first time head coach could ask for. Gotta love that. Marion kicks off the season Saturday at Aaron. Hey. Got to be pumped up for the regular season and our Heartland Football Friday Game Changer. It's back and always making a difference. The Game Changer, sponsored by Cape Girardeau Honda. So who's making that difference tonight? How about Carothersville's Germonte Alexander at the Dexter Jamboree with the pick? Hey, impressive stuff. That is our first Heartland Football Friday Game Changer of the season. Our play of the night is coming right up.